Hi everyone. Hi guys. Lovely to see you again. Today is the first of our little chats about the Arthur Faction Awards that we mentioned last time. Yeah, the finalists. Um, the finalists are here. This is very exciting. I feel like that you all are worthy winners. <laughs> but there can only be one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but we're, we're going to start with um, Omen. We are starting with Omen this is very by uh, Manos uh, Gurakinis uh, Parfums. Um, this, uh, so for all of, of these um, Art of Action finalists, which we're trying, as is often the case uh, when we do videos, I've had the samples for a little while and I've worn them at least a couple of times to see how they wear on me and I can talk about development and Joe has not tried them at all. So you're gonna see Joe's first Im impressions. So I tell you what, I'm gonna give you a, a little spray and then yeah. I'll give you like a, a minute or so to, um, to, to, to sniff and think. And, and whilst you're doing that, I will bang on a little bit and, and, and give the kind of introduction. Let's get a few sprays in there. Right, so the perfumer is Miguel Matos, who we've been, I think we've been quite late to discover Miguel Matos. Mm, yes. um, but we have some, a few things of his and they've all been um, interesting and they've had bags of personality. And I yeah. think when you have a Miguel Matos fragrance, you know you're not gonna have something dull. So this is in the independent category. It's 200 euros for 100 mil EDP. And it was a 2020 uh, release. It's from the Orient collection of, of Manos Gerakinis Parfums. Um, and I, this is one which I did manage to get a sample from in the UK. Which oh, that's is, good. Which is quite, I got it from Shai Mimosa, which is in Bristol. Um, so uh, Manos Gerakinis Parfums, which is a brand I didn't know before, they have Greek, 19, no? yeah, yeah, Greek, a Greek house. Um, they have 19 fragrances and they've been going since 2014. Wow. So it's just a, a house we've neglected. So this fragrance is inspired by Delphi, Greece, the site where resides a major temple dedicated to the sun god and the god of light, Apollo. Um, and there's a lot more blurb on the website, which you can read if you'd like to. Um, so I, as I said, I've worn this um, mm. a few times and I've got some ideas. It'd be interesting to see what you, what you I get. I like it a lot. I mean, I think the first thing that comes into my mind is a slightly less sweet version of something like Cape Heartache with that slight kind of fruity, piney combination. Yep, definitely. Um, yep. Not so sweet though, a little no. bit a smokier, slightly more. Yep. Um, a little candle waxy. Mm. So I can, when I, I, I can almost, I, I hesitate to say this, but almost like a little sort of pineapple-y note or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. So when I, when I, yeah, when I, like you know I didn't, um, <laughs> when I, uh, with, with, with all of these, I, I didn't read the notes before, um, you know, until, until after I, I tried it. So I didn't want, there's a kind of damascone, slightly berry fruitiness, yeah. which I, I, I agree, I can, I can get pineapple. So he, yeah, he lists it as apple. Okay. So it's obviously a kind of an apple-y accord. But I think what, but I definitely agree with you. You get this feeling of being in a forest and there's a quite a piney, furry, almost coniferousness. Yeah. Gently smoky. Gently smoky, gently incensey. Yeah, absolutely. It starts to go in an even more- Very friendly. Initially, yeah, initially friendly, quite comforting. It's, it's more of a, sometimes um, foresty fragrances can go in an austere, intimidating way. Whereas yeah. this is quite yeah. inviting. Um, but I definitely got the, the feeling of as you, like your it. first reference was, was kind of Cape Heartache, this um, inviting campfire kind of smell. Yeah. I feel the incense-iness in this is definitely earthy. It's not churchy. Absolutely right. Um, it's not kind of, it, it doesn't feel like an out and out Olibanum thing. It's more on the kind of piney, furry yeah. side of, of incense. And there's sort of gentle little, little leather hints that I'm getting around yep. the edges. Yep. Uh, yes, I definitely, I got, I've not tried this on skin, uh, on card, this is the, I, I have tried it on skin, this is my first time smelling it on card, and that, um, that leatheriness is coming in a bit earlier. On skin, I mm. found I got more kind of earthy notes to salt with, the kind of a geosmin slight kind of petrichor feel, which really made me feel oh, kind of in the, in the forest, that yeah. kind of um, dirt. I also got, I've got, I got a slight whininess, not as in wah, 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 but as in, <laughs> as in, you know, red wine. A hint of wine which kind of segued from that fruitiness. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's definitely something linking that mm. in. It, it's not disappearing, but it's also not making an abrupt, mm. um, an abrupt change. 
So I said to Joe just before uh, we started this video is the one thing with this which he's not going to get mm. all of is I thought there was a huge uh, development um, to this fragrance um, and already you, you've heard us you know even Joe's kind of identified lots of things as kind of fruitiness, incensiness, leatheriness but actually and, and that can make it sound a bit chaotic but, uh, but it's actually very well put together, it's it? very, very smooth. smooth isn't it incredibly yeah, smooth and I, I found um, when I wore it on skin, it's very nice, actually. It, was, um, it was really rewarding. You know, I'm someone that likes to uh, wear a fragrance which kind of takes me places and tells stories and develops. Yeah. Um, but it's great to have that and have something which feels really elegant and refined. Yeah, and absolutely. Good it is I, very elegant, isn't it? I've actually put petrol and leather notes start to appear. Oh, interesting. I got a kind of like petroly. No, to fuel to throw fuel on the fire, that kind of campfirey nest. Oh, that's interesting. I look forward to seeing, seeing what that's like on skin then. And um, little hints of tiny little hints of, of sort of funk, like slight sweetness that it, mm -hmm. it's not it's not from the fruitiness in yep. the opening. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, in the leathery sweetness. There's a leathery sweetness, but I think there is a bit of funk as well. There's just a slight slight hum. It's a little of, hint, isn't it? Uh, 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 of kind of slightly not. Um, yeah, almost kind of animal warmth. It was a little, almost like a tiniest little hint of birch tar or something. A little bit. Very, yeah. very tiny. Yeah, definitely in that kind of smokiness. Um, I, I also I got a lid. I don't know if you're getting kind of saffron. I'm getting a bit of saffron, and I think that that leather oh, maybe, probably yeah. is saffroline, which is quite you know popular modern yeah, uh, saffron uh, leather. But the whole thing, and when I was writing notes, very I've taken good, the way I've started to making notes is actually to take audio notes so I record myself as I'm like driving oh, yeah. or walking around wearing it going and I kept when I and then I listen back and transcribe them and I kept saying it's, it's surprisingly smooth there's so much going oh, on yeah that leather is really beginning to come out for me as a big player now yeah but do you get slight petroline a little bit yeah, I kind of look like an oiliness a dirty oiliness mm. um it reminds me a little bit of my nan's coal house that she had down in Cornwall I'd go out there and I'd shovel all the coal and yeah. bring it in and light the fire it's quite a modern petrol, uh, not quite modern petrol, quite a modern leather though. It's not like your classic, like, um, I say beautiful quinoline, kind of like old sheep no, leather, is it? It's no. much more kind of in, in your modern. And it's got some edges to it as well. It's, it's just a little bit of attitude. It is, and, and I think there's that little bit of funky warmth as well. Yeah. Um, but it never... It's it changed never, a lot from the opening. Yeah, it does. I thought the opening was going to be quite a sort of bright, fruity No, thing. because you get that big kick of, um, you know, what, what is described as apple. And I can, mm. I think I can, when I later read apple, I can kind of get apple, even though, yeah. I, even though yeah. like you, I, wouldn't, I couldn't pick it out. I it was just have, a, a nod to something in that apple yeah. direction, wasn't it? I thought pineapple just because of the, the slightly syrupy sweet mm. thing. But it wasn't overly sweet, I have to say. So on, when, I I like wore it, when I wore it on skin, this leatheriness went further in this kind of warm, slightly funky, woody direction, mm. um, which, again, when I came to read the notes, I, there was oud listed. And that explains that slightly leathery, slightly ambered, warm, yeah. wo woody yeah. um, um, facet, and also the slight funk as well, possibly. Maybe. Just, yeah, so just a hint of it that's mm. kind of lurking in the background. I like that as well, because it's just enough to make you want to go in and smell deeper. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm big into these perfumes that, yep. that draw your draw your That's, attention. Uh, we're all right. We're all right. All right. They Something make you like work that. for them a little bit. Uh, quite a lot going on, but very smooth. Draws you in yeah, yeah, rather exactly, than yeah. chance. Exactly the same thing. It's really rewarding. Makes you guess. Lots, lots in there. Mm. Um, as I said, it, uh, when I wore it on skin, it went to this kind of uh, slightly uh, oody um, section for quite a long time, and then it finished mm. off in this. Um, if I say woody amber, it sounds like a we we often say woody amber to describe things we don't like, but it smells of wood and amber, not woody amber. Yeah. So it smells of warm round wood and and slightly kind of treacly ambery notes. The smokiness is actually ramping up. I don't know how it's mm. doing that, but it, I feel like it's getting more smoky every time I go. Well, back. You're, I mean, you're still early on, and I think that kind of campfire mm. vibe is quite prominent. It's quite a detour from what I first thought. I have to say, it's a big journey. If you said, "Is this the same perfume that I sprayed a minute ago?" I would, I wouldn't have agreed. It's a big journey. It's a rewarding wear. It's complex, mm. but it's really smooth. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying that on skin because I think that's very interesting. 
Yeah. A lot of personality. I like that leatheriness. Yeah. It's the kind of leather. I get, I get it's the kind of leather I find. Yeah. You know, not the same kind of fragrance at all, but you know that Tuscan leather, kind of petroly leather. Yeah, definitely. But I do think that I mean there Slight must be danger. saffron because I definitely get saffron as well. So I think it's a a saffrony. If you're interested in materials yeah. and things like that, that's very good. Um, but a good. I mean, I can imagine this. If you like uh, uh, foresty fragrances, if you like um, complex, kind of slightly spicy fragrances, I can see this one being a very popular one. Absolutely. I think that's a win, absolutely. I, I, I think what a, what a great choice. I've always been interested. Mm. Um, you know, so far, we've only smelt two, three, maybe four fragrances by Miguel Matos, but so far, they've been... They've hit, always hit, had hit. something about them, haven't, haven't they? That, Personality, yeah. quality, mm. good perfumery. Well done. Great. We enjoyed it. If you Best tried of luck with this, this. Um, let us know your thoughts. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it's been out there for a little while. I mean, we, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can buy these and try them. Yeah. Mm, if great. you if you tried it, let us know. But until next time, happy sniffing.